there's all the colors layered up. Let's blow it out. Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome back to my Fluid Art channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is brought to you by Anna Luisa Jewelry. Now, I'm not a huge jewelry person myself. I don't even have pierced ears, but I do like wearing necklaces or the occasional bracelet or ring or something like that. So I'm very happy to work with a company that puts out really good quality pieces, but is also an ethical company. Uh, you know, they strive for carbon neutrality, plastic-free packaging. Their, their jewelry comes in these cute little snap pouches which is great for packaging, but it also is wonderful for traveling with your jewelry. You can keep it all separate and it doesn't get all tangled together. So I love it. So this necklace that I'm wearing right now, I don't know if you can see it, but it's gold with little um, freshwater pearls and I love it. I've had it for a year and a half. I wear it so often. It's shown no sign of wearing out and I think it'll be a favorite for years and years to come. So over the last year and a half, I have been able to give jewelry to most of the women in my family, from my daughters to my mom and my mother-in-law, sisters, my brother's girlfriends, you know, all kinds. And it seems like everybody I give it to, they just love it. You know, the earrings that I give them, every time I see them, they're wearing these earrings, even six months, 12 months, 18 months later. So it's good quality stuff and seems to be favorites wherever it goes. So Today's video is inspired by this new bracelet. So this one, if you can see, uh, hard to see in the light. This is uh, malachite. It's three little bars of malachite in on a gold chain. And I just think that that's really elegant. And so I love those colors of kind of the emerald and gold. So I wanna make a painting inspired by the colors of this bracelet. So let me tell you what my colors are. So my cell activator is white, Amsterdam titanium white, mixed with Australian Floetrol, one to three parts. This is the classic Shelly Art cell activator. So then for my colors, these two are Let's Resin Chameleon powders. So this one is teal. So it's sort of a blue, but it shines green. And then this one is champagne, which I just love this color. It's sort of a tan but it shines this amazing kind of fuchsia pink. So that's gonna be kind of my surprise color in this color scheme. You see, I've got a lot of sort of greens and golds, but I wanted to have, yeah, these are the surprise ones. So this one shines green, obviously, to match with the green theme that I'm going with, um, but a little bit of blue because I didn't want it to be too static, just like two shades, green and gold. Anyway, so now, I should have started down here. This is Viridian. So this is actually my one like paint, solid paint, not metallic, not a mica pigment. Beautiful color. Then I have metallic copper, kind of as an accent, because I didn't want it to be just gold. I have, this is Spring Rain. Oh yeah, this is the color that I used in my cell activator test. So that way we have a shiny green and a dark green. And then of course we have this nice warm metallic gold as well. So we've got sort of our golds, our greens, and then these are the two surprise colors because I think having a little pop of pinkish will be like, ooh, and having a little bit of blue to kind of balance the greens, I think will be nice. Plus it shines green. So I'm hoping it'll all work well together. My pillow paint is Glidden Essentials Eggshell White Interior House Paint. This is the one recommended by Lisa Marvin, and she knows a thing or two about blooms. So, and I'll be uh, blowing it out with my little MHU hair dryer, not using the concentrator, just this, because the last time I tried this, it worked amazingly. All right, let's put down the pillow. Okay, so I'm gonna use a cup to just scoop some pillow paint out because I still don't have any better way of getting it neatly onto the canvas. So 
So with a pillow, you want there to be plenty of paint to cover. This is the majority of the paint in the painting. So you want there to be enough to get close to covering it. Now, if you're painting on a round surface, it's very easy for the paint to cover the corners. If you're painting on a square surface, obviously, it's, uh, you know, that's gonna be harder to get the corners covered. So I'm gonna add a bit of paint on all of the corners and kind of, you know, cover it down over the sides just to make sure that those sections don't have trouble spreading. But since I'm gonna be spinning this, I don't think there's gonna be any issue getting the paint to cover all the way down the sides. All right, set that aside. I don't mind touching paint with my fingers, but house paint is so thick. <laughs> so I will use a palette knife for this. All right, let's layer the colors. So I wanna start with Viridian, because I want this to be kind of the main, the main color of the painting, that sort of emerald malachite green. Beautiful. And on top of that, I think I'll put a little bit of this blue. Not a lot, just enough to add a little surprise. Um, okay, so then some gold. And I'll probably add a little bit more gold up on the top. Um, bit of champagne. Again, just for a little sparkle of something. Um, now some copper. I don't want the copper to totally take over, but I do like it as a darker metallic. Now some of this spring rain, because we want green up near the top. And a little bit more gold, and that should, that should do it. Okay, I can't, really see the viridian so I'm just gonna put a tiny swizzle on the top I don't <laughs> I don't think that's gonna do much on the top but there it is there's all the colors layered up so now I'm going to put the cell activator right in the middle I'm gonna make a puddle of that and then I'm gonna sort of spread it out with my mouth and then use the hairdryer to blow it out in that classic bloom shape Let me make sure that my this looks pretty centered. Yeah. Yeah, because you want you want your design to be centered before you even start blowing it out. Alright, let's spread it. And blow it out. Well, clearly I didn't need to be afraid of not enough Viridian. <laughs> this is mostly green. I think because it was such a big layer at the bottom, as I blew, that's what kind of was left behind. I don't mind it though. There's lots of kind of shimmer around the edges and uh, like metallic lacing inside here. So I do think it's gonna look kind of like gemstones set in, in a golden setting. So I, I like that a lot. I'm gonna spin it out and and go with it. Before I spin it out, 
I'm going to use my straw and force up some cells here in the middle. Okay, got some more definition in there. This petal right here does not have a lot in it. I'm going to swirl it just a little bit. I, maybe not. I don't know. It's looking really pretty. My last bloom I like way over modified, and then I spun it out until you could barely see the modifications, and I'm glad for that because they didn't turn out that well. This one, I'm hoping that I get the outer edges of the petals to flow off. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna try not to touch this one, see how it goes. Let's give it a spin. Wow, okay, so one spin and we're already starting to cover the sides. Well, goodness, I was thinking I'd have to do this again, but I really, I'm liking the negative space here. I like that we have it on all four corners. I may spin it just one more time to make sure that it covers the sides and doesn't have way too much paint in the middle, like on the canvas, but I'm really liking it. Yeah, okay, this is incredible. <laughs> so, so easy and effortless, and I'm so glad that I didn't do this because it looks really layered, like watercolor or something. It's really amazing, and you can see pockets of the gold and the copper lacing through, so I love it. I, I'm not going to touch it any further. Let me give you a close-up. So right in the middle, my cell activator is sinking a little bit, so I think I had it just a little bit too thin. I did add some additional Floetrol right before painting because it seemed like it wasn't thin enough, but maybe I made it a little too thin. But you can still see all of the cell definition, so that's amazing even without the bright white lines. But then look at this. You can see how shimmery that is already. Oh my goodness, look at the copper. And that is just a dreamy mix of colors. It's so kind of pastel and transparent. I do really love this section. This was what I was going to put a swirl right in the middle of it, like, you know, like a whirlpool swirl, but I'm really glad I left it. And then this corner is amazing. The cells, the color blend. Oh, it's amazing. It's dreamy. Then over here is really cool. I like the little pockets and rivers of gold and copper that you see peeking up out of the green. Yeah, so then big section of green here. I don't mind that though. That was the largest petal when I blew it out. So I'm so happy with this. Super, super, super happy. I will show you how it looks when it's dry. Okay, it's all dry. Unfortunately, we had a ton of cracking. Look at all those tiny cracks. I don't know what exactly caused this. I don't know if it was because my layer of paint was too thick or my room was too dry or warm. I didn't think it was warmer or drier than normal, but clearly something caused all of that. For you guys that do lots of blooms and you're like, ah, yes, I know exactly what causes that, drop me a comment because I'd be curious to know what exactly it is. It seems like usually if I have too much paint, I'll get sort of like a deep canyon right in the middle where the paint is thickest, and I don't have that. You know, there's a little bit of pitting, but it's not, it's not giant cracks. So I'm not exactly sure. It is still really pretty. It's very shimmery. And the uh, extra cracking, it's like additional lacing. Obviously it's not what I wanted, but it may still be a salvageable piece. I haven't decided yet. But thank you guys so much for watching. This was a really fun bloom to make, and it makes me want to try again with the same colors. If you feel so inclined, check out Ana Luisa Jewelry. I have a coupon code in the video description that will give you 20% off of your order. Thank you guys for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Bye!